in Japan we have the beautiful four seasons and also we have a lot of rain. In rainy day, the space beneath the roof is not dark. Because of the reflections, the space is getting very rich. And also, at the same time, the smell of rain is very, very beautiful. I like the smell of rain very much. And then, rainy day is not bad day. The tree center in Asakusa, it is just next to the old temple. But only in the temple, the, we can find the beautiful the series of roof. And the, my idea is that we should go back to the roof, but in the vertical way, the stacking of that roof, as so we're stacking the seven roofs in the one building. The good thing for the roof is the shadow. And in the normal box building, there is no shadow. And no shadow means no spirit. In traditional Japanese space, the most important space is the void. We call that kind of void space, space ma. In the void, we can feel the change of light, the change of time, the change of smell, change of temperatures because this is void. And void is a sensor. The void and the human body are working together to feel something. In my architectural design, I always think as about where is the man? Where is the void in my building? And if the, I can create a void for our project, the project is successful. The Malay Museum is, is itself is not a big project, but so we want to so create a smaller the, the space in the bigger as a museum. The small space can give the special is experience. The contrast of the smallness and the bigger space is, uh, can create something, I believe. And then so for me, the smallness is, is very, very important. When I grew up in the traditional Japanese house, it was built in the 1920s, as covered by roof tiles, as wooden flames, and uh, light paper screens, and the plan is just a square. But so I st still remember the special experiences from that space. The smell of mosquito net and smell of tatami so are beautifully combined, and I was so happy. And me and my sisters are, were playing in the mosquito net, so we really enjoy the beginning of, of summer. We have two spaces in the Royal Kami. So as I try to create the two kind of void, and also the two void has a has a two different smell. The first void is the smell of hinoki. The Japanese cypress. And uh, the second boy uh, smell is a Japanese tatami, tatami mat. If I got that smell, I can sleep very well. <laughs> uh, I don't know that the smell can give what kind of effect to the visitors, but so for myself, the tatami mat smell and my sleep is deeply related. If we select the wrong the scale, the, the, that long scale can kill the materiality, can kill the senses. We always make real size mock-up and buy the real material. I don't believe the 3D rendering, I don't believe the normal models, because those are the tools that is a kind of abstraction of the space. But if we make so real size mock up with a real material, so we can so check the relationship with the materiality and the scale. Through the installation projects, I can study the relationship between the human body and the space. I also multiply that experience into the bigger spaces. 
And the dance always installation is really necessary for us. Without installations, we cannot design a bigger building.